Good evening. Here is our news bulletin for tonight. Government has endorsed a grant for newborn infants born after the 20th of October 2015. The new NZQA Assessment School Relationship Manager is on island to review the performance at Newer High School. Newer Tourism has a publicity stunt to get The Rock to come to Newer. Another accident at Tapil Hill over the weekend has the Newer Police reminding people to stop dri drink driving and speeding. The government has endorsed a newborn infant grant that will mean mothers of infants born after the 20th of October 2015 are eligible to receive $2,000. During the constitution celebrations last year, the Premier Tokita Langi had announced a policy for newborns with the objective to support families and encourage population growth. All infants who are Nguyen by descent are eligible for the grant. However, non nguyen infants will be eligible on the basis of the residency status of their parents and entitled if one or both parents are permanent residents. The announcement has received a positive response from young families saying that any amount of money would be helpful with caring for infants. The Minister for Social Services, Honourable Pokotoa Sibeli, said that according to their records since the 20th of October last year, until June this year, a total of 15 babies have been born to Nguyen mothers. He said that they will get the full $2,000 in one instalment. According to a press release from the government, the grant will be delivered in four instalments of $500 once the infant has been registered through the Department of Justice, Lands and Surveying and Community Affairs. The policy in place at the moment, eligibility criteria, covers births in Niue and overseas as some mothers are referred for medical reasons whilst others travel on their own accord to give birth overseas but return soon after. Considering the policy is relatively new, there will be instances that will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis and a final decision made by the Minister for Social Services. Niue High School is going through a quality assurance review assessment by the New Zealand Qualification Authority to check credibility of achievement results of students. A new NZQA school relationship manager is working with staff as part of regular assessments about the way the school is delivering the National Certificate of Educational Achievement. In 2003, the NCEA replaced the fifth and sixth form certificates and we spoke to the NZQA Relationship Manager earlier today to find out how Newer High School measures up to their standards. The school is doing a fantastic job with, um, with what resources they have available to them and in terms of um, NCA and the quality that is being is offered um, in terms of the qualification, the school is doing excellent. They're doing great. Results are credible, their systems are in place, um, they're meeting the needs of the students. Which is, um, which is always a good thing, so that students have no barriers to achieving what they need to achieve. The fact that the school has very committed, motivated, professional teachers, um, it's very comparable you know, to, to New Zealand and the Cooks, as I understand. I have colleagues who uh, work in the Cooks. So I think Nui High School is, is, is making great progress. Um, every year can only get better um, for our own professional growth. Um, so I have no issues, no, no concerns whatsoever with the school and, and what is being done here. With the technological advancement of the digital era, the Qualification Authority has plans that will see changes in the way that the certificate is delivered. One of the changes that um, is happening now is digital assessment. So that is um, under the heading of future state. Uh, and the, plenty of information can be found on the website. But basically, even at the moment, there will be communications about uh, pilots and trials for online assessment. So the whole idea of anytime, anywhere. Um, so those things are happening at the moment. And uh, so obviously with 
connection issues and so on here, that will be something that the school will need to think about and how they can come on board, and, and they're willing to do that anyway. Traditionally, it has been the, um, the exams, which is just a, a paper, and um, <coughs> students have sat their exams all at the same time, according to their timetable, and it's been written and handed in and marked. So where we're heading now is some subjects will be done online. So we're working towards candidates completing their exam online and being returned and receiving marks online. At this point in time, they say that it is not feasible for New High School to make the changes unless the issue of internet connectivity is addressed. But NZQA is confident that this time next year, the school will be prepared. New Tourism Office has latched on to one of Polynesia's favourite sons, Dwayne Johnson, who was well known through the world for his deeds as a wrestler, as a well known Hollywood actor, in a bid to get worldwide publicity for New Year's upcoming festival. The publicity generated from the story has reached worldwide audiences through social media, which is exactly what the Chief Executive Office of New Year Tourism, Felicity Bolin, wanted to market and promote Niue as the preferred soft adventure and eco-tourist destination in the South Pacific region. Niue tourism is always looking for innovative ways to market to New Zealand and, and the world. Um, you appreciate we've got a limited budget, so we have to be innovative and creative about how we spend our funding. I've been thinking about Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, um, for quite some time because of his association both with the Pacific and with The Rock of Polynesia, which is us. So we started you know, tossing around some ideas about what would happen if we actually invited Dwayne to The Rock and then we thought, how can we make that association? So we looked online and we had a look at what he does. We know he's a wrestler, we know he's a movie star. But the thing that came up um, for us was the fact that he'd made a movie called um, Journey to the Mysterious Island. And during that movie, he'd played the ukulele and he played What a Wonderful World. And then I went on and I read about him and he's a, he's a bit of a ukulele aficionado. So we thought, why don't we make a video clip and uh, put it on YouTube? It'll be very, very low cost using some of our wonderful local talent, um, also visitors that were on the island who might want to play. And so we strung together a video in one day. Putting Tiny Niue on the world map as a tourist destination meant that our tourism office has to come up with a concept that identified with that it's not about the size of Niue, but it's about the size of what Niue can produce to attract worldwide attention. This Dwayne The Rock Johnson phenomenon has generated worldwide interest, and although there's no expectation to see him on the rock of Polynesia that is Niue, his name alone has raised Niue's profile internationally through various news networks. We've had massive massive interest from New Zealand, Australia and Canada surprisingly. We've got some amazing people coming. We've got three um, stars from Hawaii that are coming down, uh, two young girls who are YouTube, big YouTube aficionados and we're hoping the Hawaiian connection also brings the rock down because he's just finished making a movie called Moana mm. where he plays Maui, filmed in Hawaii. So mm. we're trying to make all those little connections to the Pacific. Um, he's got strong connections to New Zealand. He used to live in Greylin with his family in Auckland, um, and his grandmother lives in Wellington. So, you know, he has got strong connections to this part of the world. If you love ukuleles, um, please come to the concert, to concert and to the festival. And if you love the rock, please go on and share, share those pages so it goes viral. There was a similar exercise a couple of years ago with Lady Gaga, where New Tourism also extended an invitation to her considering her travelling itinerary was on a tour down under to New Zealand. And while that didn't happen, the news generated a lot of publicity for Niue. Early on Sunday morning, there was a motor vehicle accident at Tapir Hill that is suspected to have happened due to careless and reckless driving. The Department of Police normally hold compulsory checkpoints throughout the weekends to check for speeding and intoxicated drivers. And according to the New York Police Department, since 2015 to 2016, they have seen an increase in drink drivers as well as speeding on our local roads. The vehicle involved in this accident was a hired rental vehicle from Alofi Rentals and has been written off due to the damage. One of the preemptive measures that the department hopes to put in place would be to install 
more road signs and warnings to minimise drink driving and speeding. At this time, the police department continued to ask the public to be mindful whilst driving on public roads and the driver involved in this particular motor vehicle accident will be standing before the court in the coming months. That concludes our news bulletin for this evening. Do join us again for our next news bulletin next week.